uh, Deputy Pierce Doherty, we're here in, in Creasla and it's just absolutely uh, horrendous what's unfolding here. It's just so surreal, like it, there's an eerie silence here as people are silently praying for the best, but have seen the, the devastation that the explosion cost, caused. There's people trapped in the building. The emergency services are doing everything to, to get them out. We know that there, some of them are able to communicate with outside, outside, but this is a this is a, a very, very dark day for this community. And you know, we all know this community is a tight knit community. Everybody knows each other. This place is so busy. And at the time of day that it was on, just after school, pension day, all of the rest of the post office there, it's just it's just heartbreaking to, to, to see what's unfolded here in this community today. And it's this community, but this is our community and we all know people who are waiting for, for news. It's just, it's it's very, very hard to fathom. It is, and look, you know, the natural response when you hear a tragedy in somewhere is the first thing, do I know somebody? And, you know, this is on our doorstep. This is a, a tight knit community. How many times did we all pass through this shop and stop for petrol or go into the deli or into the into the shop? And like, this this is the only shop in this village. And, you know, this there's there's terrible news spilling out here from, from Presa today. And, you know, I don't think there's words to, to there's no words, words fail you in times like this here. And, you know, we're just hoping, hoping and hoping that, you know, what, what that, that it may not be any worse than what we're already here. And whilst we're speaking now, there are still people waiting for news. The rescue's ongoing and we've got emergency services in there working in a very difficult site as well too. Uh, and their families, I'm sure, are very keen to for them to get home safely as well. Yeah, absolutely. Like everybody here who's, you know, who hasn't been able to make contact with a loved one is, is holding on, just waiting for that moment when they'll answer the phone or when they, they, they can walk out here and we see the, the helicopters airlifting people. The locals were on the scene very early. They were taking people out of the shop. You know, a lot of people got out uh, earlier on with, with some injuries. Others have been taken away to hospital, but there's there's people still in that building at, the, at this point in time. And that building, is, as we've seen the images, uh, the whole front is blown off. The back is blown off. Um, and, and the emergency services, as you say, are working under very difficult circumstances to, 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 to make sure that people are rescued in a, in a safe and sound manner. And it's important, isn't it, for the likes of USC, John McHugh, Father uh, John Joe, who's the local parish priest here, to stand with the community. There's nothing to say. You just stand with them. Yeah, like, and that's it. It's a sense of hopelessness. And, you know, talking to others here, and there's so, there's so much quiet here. You know, it's, it's like walking into nearly a wake. And there's nothing that we can do. And, you know, we'd all love to just roll, roll up our sleeves and maybe help move some of the rubble, but that's not what's in the best interest here. This this building is seriously damaged and it needs to be done by the professionals who know what they're doing. So in a minute, you're just trying to, to be here with solidarity and, and let people know that they're in our thoughts, they're in our prayers. And that, as we say our own, we silent prayers this evening here in Creasley. Pierce, thank you. And um, obviously the situation as it stands at the moment is that Creasla is closed to traffic. The emergency services behind us are doing everything they can to, as you heard from the deputy there, to uh, rescue people. Some are trapped. There is contact with them um, and there is helicopter activity. There's ambulance, fire brigade. It's an ongoing situation and I imagine this will go on deep into the night. Uh, but just for those who, who may be driving, it's certainly impassable here. And you would really help if you, rather than drive up to this area, take any early diversions that you can if you need to uh, get to somewhere. Uh,